isang masayang pabati na may ngiti sa aking mga labi. Naghahanap ba kayo ng makakatuwang sa mag-review ng inyong anak? Meron yan sa DepEd. Ang Itulay Online Tutorial ay libre at handog ng ating kagawaran sa pangunguna ng OUA ICTS EdTech. Ito ay isang proyektong makatutulong sa mga mag-aaral, katuwang ang mga magulang o kasama sa kanika nilang tahanan para masagutan at maunawaan ang mga modules. Hangad din ng programang Itulay ang matulungan ang ating mga guro sa kanilang mga blended learning classes. Ang ating itulay ay mula kinder hanggang senior high school. Bukod sa academics, meron din tayong mga special programs. Gaya ng All is Wellness, Reading and Math Remediation, Storytelling, Mommy Tech Talks, Classes sa Gramatika, Speech Class, Financial Literacy, at marami pang iba. Pinalawig din ng itulay ang ating Alive Program para sa mga mag-aaral mula grade 1 hanggang grade 3. Gayun din ay mayroon tayong ALS Program at SPED Tutorials na makasisigurong makakamit ng lahat ang inclusive education. May SPED Hotline na rin para sa inyong mga katanungan patungkol sa special education. Kaya, subaybayan mula lunes hanggang biyernes, mula ikasyam ng umaga hanggang ikapito ng gabi ang ating itulay. Sa ating pagtutulungan, maiaangat natin ang bawat isa. Ating itutulay ang pagkatuto upang di mapigil ang pag-aaral ng kabataang Pilipino. Itulay natin ito, Sulong Edukalidad. Mabuhay! Good day to all! I am your tutor, Madge. Welcome to Itulay, a free online tutorial, an initiative of the Department of Education, Information and Communications Technology Service, Educational Technology Unit, ICTS EdTech. This program is aimed at helping and assisting learners from kindergarten, senior high school, ALS, alive and SPED learners. Aside from answering the modules, The Itulai is offering programs which you will surely look forward to. Together with our parents and teachers, the Itulai will bridge the gaps where difficulty and ease meet in learning new knowledge and skills. So, let us prepare our module, pen and paper. Ready your mind to see and hear worthwhile and interesting lessons. Let us now study and learn together with our volunteer online tutors. Tara na! A wonderful Tuesday to all our learners, parents, and teachers from Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. Are you ready for a new English 10 learning adventure? Hold on tight as our e 2 online tutorial takes you there. I am Tutor Guide Jedi, and I'll be joined by Tutor Guide Ram. A remarkable Tuesday, Tutor Guide Jedi. Kaitulay, especially to our dear wonders. This is your tutor guide, Rem, teaching you virtually yet heartily. We are your tutor guides for this English 10 learning adventure where you can wonder as you wonder. Right. We are your tutors and at the same time, your tour guides who will take you to a wonderful learning spot. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Yes, but before boarding, I'd like to greet you, Tutor Guide Jedi, a happy World Teachers Day. And to all our Yay. tutors and teachers who are watching right now, happy World Teachers Day to you all. Yes, happy World Teachers Day or happy National Teachers Day. Yes, yes, yes. Ready Tutor to wonder, Day. dear wonders, as you wander around English 10? You know where you can have the beautiful learning spots, do treasure hunting, earn challenge passes, and be the wow, the wonder of the week. But wait! Yes, yes, yes! Stay tuned as we will be revealing to you a few minutes from now our wow, 
for our Wanderer of the Week. And we have a new badge, WBO, Wanderer's wow. Best Output. But first, let's check who are our top three early bird wanderers. We have already Tutor Guide Ram, our first early bird wanderer, Tutor Ram. We have Andrea Dupan, watching from Kaloka National Science and Technology High School. Yeah, I think Alaika Quinones Navarro from Great Ten Newtown. Donia Magdalena H. Gafford High School. Hi! We also have one from, Loret from Section 10, Descartes, Mabini High School. Hello! Welcome, everyone! Yes, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to our online tutorial. For today's learning adventure, you will do four challenges and a chance to earn a 2020 token. Yes, yes, yes. And here are our, our WBO, the Wanderers Best Outputs. So these are from Makabebi High School in Pampanga. Thank nice you outputs. for your efforts, Wanderers. Thank you so much. Yes, yes, yes. And here we have our WBO or Wanderers Best Outputs from Grade 10 Sections Zara, Euler, Descartes, Doppler of Makabebe High School. And we also have the Best Output from Kaunlaran High School. Congratulations and good job, dear Wanderers. Thank you also for, uh, for your parents who permitted these photos to be posted here. Yes, thank you for the waivers. And now, introducing our wow, our wonder of the week, we have the beautiful and smart Jamie PBA, a grade 10 Euler student from Makabebe High School. Good job, Jamie, and congratulations. You have earned one badge. Yay! Yay, beautiful and smart. Hats off to you, Wanderer Jamie. Yes, right now, you can see a link and a QR code where you can open the feedback form for today's tutorial. Please know that your suggestions and comments are appreciated po. Kung may app po kayo, you can scan this QR code. Or you can screenshot na lang and then you can get back to this during your free time after our tutorial if you have free and do the feedback in. Yes, yes, yes. Hihintayin po namin at talagang babasahin ang feedback ninyo, dear wanderers, so we can improve. And yes, share naman this video so that more will be reached as we teach. Yes, 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 Tutor Guide Ram. All right. So last week's learning adventure we discovered about achieving the writer's purpose. And today, Tutor Guide Jedi, we will take our dear wonders to another learning spot that will surely give them remarkable learning experiences. You will be moving from one learning spot to another to discover more about comparing and contrasting the contents of materials viewed. Exciting! Yes, yes, yes. And for today's learning destinations, we would like to appreciate the SDO Cordillera Administrative Region, the one endorsed by our central office, and SDO Navotas for their modules as our main references for today. Thank you so much. During this tutorial, our wanderers will be able to first name the titles of the movies and books presented. They will be able to identify signal words that introduce, compare, and contrast. Yes, another is they're going to distinguish the differences between comparing and contrasting. And also, they're going to compare and contrast information from two resources using appropriate signal words. They will also be able to demonstrate critical thinking in spotting fake news and real news and at the same time create a compare contrast graphic organizer showing the similarities and differences of two stories yes i hope our wanderers can still recall our treasure last session yes 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 in our previous discoveries it includes the elements of a story you can still recall we have the character the setting 
plot, and plot has five parts. The exposition, rising action, climax, falling action, and denoma. Another element is the conflict, the point of view, theme, tone, and mood. Yes, yes, yes. And taking you back to our previous discoveries, dear wanderers, you also discovered the three main purposes of an author. It is to inform, to persuade, and to entertain. Yes. And to check Tutor Guide Rem if our wanderers can still remember the learning spots that we had in our last session. Let yes. us have some questions. I think they're nice. all ready. Yes. Let's have our question. Question number one. It represents both the physical location, time, social, and cultural conditions that exist in a story. What is it? Is it A, setting, B, plot, C, conflict, or D, character? T type the item number and the letter of your answer at the comment box. Go, 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 dear wanderers. We have answers already from Rainiel, wow. 1A, Carl Joshua, Andre, Micah. Hi, Micah and Christine. And I think Tutor Guide Ram, their answer is? Correct. Yes, it's letter A, setting. Congratulations. There you go. Now let's move to the second question. In the film adaptation, Life of Pi, Richard Parker is one of the animals involved in the story. What element is Richard Parker? Is it A, character, B, plot, C, setting, or D, tone? Yes, don't forget to type the item number and the letter of your answer at our comment box. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, we yes, have yes. answers for the second question. We have from Rainiel, 2A. Wow. From John Andre, 2A. We have also from Chris Melin, B. Soli, 2A. Let's reveal the answer for the second question. Congratulations. You got it right, Wanderers. It's letter A, character. Wow. Good job, Wanderers. Let's go yes, to yes. question number three. Okay. When a story is written... To enlighten the readership about a real-world topic, the author's purpose is blank. Is it A, criticize, B, entertain, C, inform, or D, persuade? Okay, the key Do not is forget to, to write the letter of your answer after the item number. So let's try yes, to yes, check. Yes. Yeah, hey, we have answers already from Rainio, 3C, Isaac, 3D, and the rest also answered. Micah, 3C, John Andre, what is the correct answer? Exactly right. Wow, congratulations. The correct answer is letter C. Now let's move to the fourth question. I think we are ready. When an author writes to influence the reader or viewer, what is the main purpose of the author? Is it A, to inform, B, to persuade, C, to entertain, or D, to argue? Is it A, B, C, or D? Yes, yes, yes. Type your number, the number and the letter of your answer. Wow, we have answers. Number four, B, according to Rainiel Manabat de Vera, always an active wonder. We also have one. Wow, Ashley Malari. And also we have from Isla. Let's reveal the answer, Tudor Guy Judai, and they are correct. It's letter B to persuade. Good job to the first three wonders. And as well as for the rest of you whose answers are still coming. Wow, congratulations. Let's move on to number five. For number yes, it five, is. it tells the readers the lesson of the story. If it tells you the lesson of the story, what is it? Is it A, plot, B, theme, C, tone, or D, exposition? Yes, comment down your answer. Do not forget the item number five. Yes, and I think we have answers already. Twitter guide Ram. Uh-huh. 5B from Jan Andre, Ashley, Shalome. We have Princess ST. And I think their answer is correct. Correct. Very good. It's letter B. Yes, yes, yes. Wow. Congratulations. Uh, Dear yes. Wanderers, you got it right. Right. So, Wanderers, I hope you are all ready for our first challenge today. For our first stop, it's called Guess the Title. 
In this challenge, you can earn four tokens. Are you ready? Let's begin. First, you are going to look at the photo and guess the title of this film. I know it's famous. You can answer this. Wow. Yes, I think. To the guide okay. right? Let us yes. check their answers. Okay, uh -huh. while waiting, let's read something from Isaac Newton. Magpapasana all ka na lang talaga. Oh, we have Sana Princess Nesli Santos says it's Twilight. Juliana says it's Twilight. Stephanie says it's Twilight. Let's try to check. The answer is Twilight. Good job, dear wanderers. Wow, congratulations. They got it right. What about in our second activity yes, yes, yes. in our second item guess the title look at the picture and guess the title of this famous film mm -hmm. type your think? answer at the comment box after the item number yes while well, waiting we have mj zapata mj zapata from santa lucia national high school wow hi hello and we have answers already yes, yes we teach number two hunger games wow alika also answered hunger games are they correct to their guide rep hunger games is the correct answer yes hunger games this is katniss everdeen knows as the girl on fire as the main protagonist in the movie hunger games yes that's true so i think our wonders is, is are ready for the third photo this is a book cover. You have to check. Check it closely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I know. All right. We have number three. I think answers are coming. Thank you so much for participating. Wow. We have more viewers. Thank you so much for inviting your classmates, friends, and everyone to watch this video. Okay, yes, yes, yes. so what's the answer? Yes, the correct answer is Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Congratulations. Wow, Thank you so much. it's Harry Potter. All right, you guys are right. Mm -hmm. Now, what about the fourth photo? This is also famous. Mm -hmm. Yes. What do you think? Is the title? Can you guess the title? Comment down with the item number and the title. Someone says Toy Story. Thank you for watching. J.M. Kunanan, 10 Descartes. The Ring, The Ring. <laughs> Let's reveal the, the answer to your guide, Jedi. Yes, right. It's The Ring. Aha. Uh -huh. Somebody answered Lord <laughs> of the Rings. Yes, it's The Lord of the Rings. Congratulations. And How many tokens did you get, dear wanderers? I hope it's four, four token for this challenge. You may please yeah, comment there, four, four token, if you did get four, four token. Congratulations. Thank you for wow, your participation. congratulations. Yes, indeed. So we have wanderers, I guess, for sure, who got four, four token. Congratulations once again. All right. In our previous challenge, we named the titles of these no novels. We have the novel from Harry Potter and The Lord of the Rings. Okay, We have to remember that here, the author had written the story and published it for an audience in mind. Then, it was adapted into a movie and successfully crossed in the cinemas. Now, can you think of a movie that is based from a book? Can you? Congratulations. We have students who got three over four, two over four. Wow. Congratulations. Good job, okay. Wonders. Yes. Also another, we also have this in our activity, Twilight and Hunger Games. Okay. These are just two of the many movies that yeah. are all based and adapted from books. Right, Tutor Guide? True. Yes, yes, yes. yes. But Tutor Guide Jedi, I have a question. How sure. does the book differ from the movie or vice versa? Mm -hmm. How are they the same, Tutor Guide Jedi? 
how do they differ from one another? I just wonder now. I'm wondering yeah, you're right now. Just like, you're just like the wanderers. <laughs> it's a valid question to their guide, Ram. We actually have two questions to answer as we continue with our destination. The question one, number one is, what is comparing and contrasting? Second question is, how do you compare and contrast? Hmm. Right. Now let's do a challenge to practice comparing and contrasting. Dear Wanderers, welcome to challenge number two, Spot the Fake. Here, mm -hmm. your skill in comparing two things will be assessed. So comment yes if you will take the challenge number two. All right, mm -hmm. so what is being flashed right now? Our two beautiful ladies. So you are going to choose which of the following is fake news. Type the item number and the letter of your answer at the comment box. So take a look at these two pictures. We have photo A and photo B. So you are going to choose the letter if that photo delivers fake news. So I think we have answers. Okay, we have from Alexis, it's A. John Andre says A and Bear Zwift says A. Reveal the answer. We have its letter A. Bravo, Wanderers. Okay, why is it letter A? As you may notice, it's mm -hmm. obviously delivering fake news because the source is not reliable. It's not even indicated. And the picture oh. itself expresses, yes, an opposition to the factual information reported from the real and reliable source. So that's the reason why. Congratulations for answering letter A. That's a fake one. Yes, Jamie answered number one. A, hey, congratulations. Let's have number two. Okay. Yes. Which official statement is fake? <laughs> a fake statement. Is it A or B? Kindly type the item number before the letter of your answer at our comment box. What do you think? Which of the photos here shows a fake statement? A or B? Rainiel answered number two. A. Wow. And Joanna Chrismillin answered number two A with the rest who answered number two A. Reveal the answer to the guide rep. They are all correct. Yay, you are all correct. You nailed it, Wanderers. The correct answer is letter A. It is fake since there's no logo. There's no logo about ABS-CBN. And this person, Glenny Lopping, is actually <laughs> not a TV personality, but one of the tutors and directors in Itulai. Yes, yes, yes. Right, Tutor Guide Judai. Before moving to the third one, I would like to um, emphasize that aside from being a director and tutor here in Itulai, Sir Glenny Lapping also shows support by being one of our viewers. So if you are watching right now, Sir Glenny, happy Teacher's Day to you. And you may comment down, yes. wow, the English and tutors are nice. <laughs> now let's move on to number three. Now, dear wonders, I would like you to observe closely the two photos, mm -hmm. the photo A and photo B. Try to compare so you can identify which one gives fake news. Type the item number together with the letter of your answer at the comment box. Wow, we have Rainiel. He says it's A. Alexis, A. Lorena, A. Ashley, A. I think they got it right. A is fake news. Wow, why wow. did they mm. able to do it? It's just like, wow, it's so hard. <laughs> why? I think <laughs> they, yes, they saw it clearly that Photo A is fake because they noticed that there is an edited part of photo A. <laughs> so yes, thank you for that. Indeed. Very keen wonders. I love it. Wow. Congratulations. Well done, our dear mm -hmm. wanderers. Now, nice. This time, you have earned two challenge passes. All right. Kindly comment down if you got three, three token in this challenge. Can I see from our wanderers? If they got three, three token, did you get three over three token? You can type now in our comment box. We have Alexis, three over three. Joanna wow, Maria, Juliano, three over three. Congratulations. Yes. 
and Dara well as well. Well done, everyone. A lot. Congratulations. Yes. And a tip to all our Wanderers, Tutor Guide Rem. I would like yes. to tell our Wanderers some ways to spot fake news. Okay. Number one, develop a critical mindset. You have to ask questions about the, the post, about the news, if it's really real or fake. Second, check the source. Is it reliable? Yes. And then see who else is reporting the story. True. You also have to examine the evidence. Don't take images at face value. Don't look at the face nice. value and then, ah, this is true. This the, the It looks good. No. Okay. You have to also check that it sounds right. When you true. read something, check. Does it sound right? You might also ask yourself, is this some kind of a joke? <laughs> Do others agree on this? Are there biases? And please, yes. dear wanderers, look before you share. All right? I like it. Yes, Tutor yes. Guide Jedi. Well said. Thank you so much. Dear wanderers, to help you spot fake news, please, you really have to develop this skill. It is called compare and contrast. So this is actually our main learning spot for today. So I hope that you are still tuning in. So what is comparing and contrasting? Yes, it is an important tool for you, dear wonders, as readers, because it teaches you and shows the what is different and similar between two or more things. When you say compare, it refers to identifying the similarities and differences between two or more things. And when you say contrasting, this refers to identifying only the differences between two or more things. Let me just say it again. When you say compare, it's the similarities and differences. But when you say contrast, it has something to do about focusing on the differences. Right. And to the guide Ram, a while ago, we showed our wanderers pictures of books, novels, and films. Now, let us try yeah. to compare and contrast the two sources. First, we have the book, and then we have the movie. So we have a Venn diagram to show the comparison and contrast of a book and a movie. So in this Venn yeah. diagram, we can say that a book and movie may have the same theme. So a novel in a Harry Potter and a movie in a Harry Potter, they will have the same theme. The book describes the characters with more details. While True. in the movie, only the major and important characters are given longer and more exposure to have an appropriate running time. Of course, they have a running time to consider. In a book also, the scenes are described in details. Unlike in the movie, which includes only the crucial scenes, right? Let's have another comparison and contrast to your guide, Rem. I think everybody knows Harry Potter. Okay. Now, let's try to observe these two. Okay, letter A is a passage of a novel in Harry Potter, while letter B is a video clip. Let's observe and watch the clip. And then after that, let's try to compare and contrast the two. To the guide wrap? Yes, yes, yes. All right. Yes. There you have it. It's Harry Potter. Yes, Harry Potter got the golden snitch in his first Quidditch match against Slytherin. I'm True. sure everybody has seen that movie. Let's try to compare. Okay, here are just some, some of the comparison and contrast that we can make in the two. Number one, both the novel and the video clip highlight the Quidditch game in Harry Potter. And then another, Harry Potter is described in more detail in the novel, unlike in the video clip. There you have it, Harry Potter. Yes, yes, yes. You have said it right, Tutor Guy Jedi. What is really comparing and contrasting? 
Well, mm. it is a skill used to examine two or more objects, ideas, or situations to discover likeness and differences. You know, on a daily basis, dear wonders, we tend to use this skill, preparing for mm. our food, comparing and contrasting, uh, contrasting the labels that the stuff that we buy. When you go to a department mm. store, you know you're trying to purchase a gift. Of course, there are lots. There are lots of options out there, so you have to choose the best option and this skill comparing and contrasting will be tested so it's very important for you to keep watching and learn this video tutorial so that you will be able to really develop your skill in comparing and contrasting and at the mm -hmm. same time when you read something you know sometimes you are being asked to categorize these things you know for example you are reading something about animals and there are types of animals which the author or part of the question goes like this. How are you going to categorize these animals? So in this way, you learn how to reach to a good decision making. That is why, dear wanderers, you should learn about this skill because this enables you to categorize things, to interpret the reading material or the video clip that you are viewing. And of course, it will help you to reach to a very good decision making. Yes, indeed, to their guide, Ram. And how can we express comparison and contrast? So we have two easy ways on how to express comparison and contrast. It is through a graphic organizer or graphic organizers and signal words, right? So I have, uh, we have here, we have, uh, here are some of the graphic organizers some of the graphic organizers that compare and contrast ideas also we have another example here of graphic organizer remember my dear wanderers of course you can always create your own yeah you can always create your own graphic organizer to show the similarities and differences of a topic a story or an idea so you're creating that's true yes yes and another way of expressing comparison and contrast is to use signal words for comparison so we have here words like both like same as similarly and as well as so aside from having signal words or phrases that compare we also have signal words or phrases that contrast we have yes. although, as opposed to, and like, though, while, however, and but. Now here, we are going to give you examples in how to use these signal words. So first, let's take the signal words or phrases that compare. So when you compare two or more things, these yes. signal words will be used. First sentence, we have both express the same theme. You have actually heard it from Tutor Guide Jedi a while ago. And the second one, the text presents an interesting plot like the movie, the text, or the book. There you go. Yes. Tutor Guide Jedi. Yes, yes, yes. Also, we have uh, signal words or phrases for contrast. We have True. although, as opposed to, unlike, though, while, however, and but. Uh, but but before i proceed congratulations <laughs> and thank you to our dear wanderers who share their ideas about novels about movies wow we have very smart wanderers congratulations we are reading naturally yeah yes. they have nice great ideas, ideas. Yes. Comment back. good job we're so yes, happy indeed. so <laughs> we have happy. our sample <laughs> yes we have our sample sentences here here for example the book presents many characters mm -hmm. However, the film shows only the major ones. Yes, they have to select the characters. However, True. here is a signal word used to, to contrast the characters in the book and in the film. Another example is the scenes in the story are described in details, unlike in the film. So we use unlike as our signal word to contrast the scenes in a story or in a book and in a film. There you have it. That's it, Tutor Guide wow. Ram. Yes. That exactly made me realize that our dear wonders have hunted treasures. Wow, that's very good. 
So yes, cheater, and cheater. I think I think we're ready for our next stop. Challenge exactly. number three. <laughs> challenge number three. You can earn five tokens in this challenge. Continue collecting the tokens and we will count them after this challenge. Are you all ready? I am very I sure you are, are ready. Yes, please make sure to have all the needed treasures and use them in our challenge number three. In this challenge, oh. you need to understand understand the questions directions determine if the statement is true or false type your answer in the comment box number one compare and contrast is a text structure or pattern pointing out the similarities and differences of two or more ideas is this a true or a false and we have lots yes, of answers yes. to the program and they are Correct, I guess. They answered true. Yay. Congratulations. Well done, Wanderer. Yes. Now they Yay. are ready to answer question number two. Yes, yes, Contrast yes. Contrast means examining the similarities. Take mm -hmm. note of the words. Is it true mm -hmm. or false? Do not forget to write true or false after the item number two. Wow, we have answers. Radio. We have false from radio. We have no, there say false. Princess Esla Santa says it's false. Now I'm revealing the answer. Congratulations. You are right. It is false. Because contrast wow. means examining only the differences. While nice. the compare, it is to the examine both the similarities Similar. or the likeness and at, and at the same time the differences. So good wow. job, Wanderers. Congratulations, Wanderers. Let's move on to number three for number three. Yes. Compare and contrast can both be used as a noun and a verb. Mm. Is this mm. a true or a false? Compare and contrast can both be used as a noun and a verb. True or false? And yes, number three, true. Wow, Alexis Mendoza Santos answered true. Reveal the answer to their guide, Ram. Are they correct? They answered. They are correct. True. Wow. Congratulations. What about now for four? the fourth question? Comparison is examining the similarities of ideas. Mm -hmm. Wow. Is it true or false? Right. Check number four, and together yes. with your answer, is it true or false? We have answers here from our. Bright wonders. We have four true from Rainiel Manabat Rivera. Our wow Hi, for the previous weeks. weeks. We also have yeah. answers from Jazz, from JM and Ashley, and they got it yes. right. The answer is wow. true. This and is actually true. also so this holds. Well, true. congratulations. What about number five, Tutor Guide Ram? Number five, signal words can also be used to express compare and contrast. Signal words can also be used to express compare and contrast. Is this a true or false? And yes, Rainiel answered true. Tutor guide Ram, what is the correct answer? Many answered true they already. They got it right. It's true. Yay. Congratulations. The correct answer is true. Awesome wonders. Type five five token if you get a perfect score in this challenge, and by this time you have earned three challenge passes. Good job and congratulations! Wow, Yay. very good. Well done, oh, everyone. Yes, they are ready uh -huh. for challenge number four. This is actually the final challenge for this destination. This wow. is called. Signal words. I'm excited. So thank you for wow, John Andre. It's five over five. JM five over five. Congratulations. Number one, wow. Tutor Guide Jedi. Yes, for number one. By the way, in this challenge, you're going to choose the appropriate signal word to complete the sentence. Please type the letter of your answer at the comment box. Number one, the movie shows only the major characters. Black the book presents more characters is it a both b while or c like is it a b or c we have answers already princess answered number one b reveal the answer to their guide ram is she correct are they correct most of them yes, are yes, correct yes. it's letter b why wow what about number two to guide ram number two 
blank of the sources include all the structures of plot? Is it A, both B, Y, C, like? Type the item number two together with the letter of your answer. Do not forget wow. item number two. Wow. Yes, yes, I yes. think we are thinking. Is it both wild or like? A, B, C. We have Alexis Mendoza says it's A. Princess, it's A. Let's reveal yes. the answer. Both of the resources include all the structures of plot. Congratulations. Wonders. Yay. And number three. Congratulations. Blank yes. the first photo. The second one, blank, shows the logo of the school. So as you may notice, dear wonders, this item number three has two answers. So two mm -hmm. signal words are being asked. Is it A, both also, B, while as well, or letter C, like also. Think, think, think. Thank you so much. Yes, well, yes, we have yes. answers. Three, B, three, Princess C. C. Okay. Yes. Let's try that. Oh, it's letter C. Congratulations, Rainiel, Jean Andre, and Janelle Ann Yamot. Wow, good job. Wow, congratulations. And let's move on to number four. For number yes. four, Black the Book describes the scenes in details. It is in the movie where viewers are more excited. Mm. Mm -hmm. Black the Book describes the scenes in details. It is in the movie where viewers are more excited. What do you think is the correct answer? Aha! Uh -huh. We have answers already, Rainiel. For B, is he correct? Let's reveal the correct answer. Tutor Guide Ram, the correct answer Actually, is... letter B. Yes! Correct. Although the book describes the scenes in details, it is in the movie where viewers are more excited. Yeah, they're more excited. What about number five, Tutor Guide Ram? Blank movies books are too much detailed this is according to one english 10 wanderer mm -hmm. so this is his or opinion so we have a yes. similarly b although or c unlike think what's the answer type item mm -hmm. number five together with the letter of your answer we have answers letter c from trisha alexis and rainia also with from John, and they are all correct. It's unlike letter C. Congratulations! Congratulations! Good job, Good job right everyone. Wonders. Yes, type at the comment box if you have earned seven over seven token. Well done. Can you count your tokens? Is it seven seven token? Wow! Yes. How many yes, total number okay. of tokens did you get? Is it 2020? That's the perfect token that you wow, have received. Radio. You radio may type it seven. at the comment box. Okay. This is the total token. It's 2020. So please type wow. at the comment box for it will be one of our bases of choosing the wow or the wonder of the week that will be featured next Tuesday. Wow. It's very exciting. And you know what, Tutor Guide Ram, we are now yeah. on the fourth yeah. week. Nasa wow. kalahati na po tayo sa quarter. Kalahati na po tayo yes, sa quarter. Yes. Remember, remember, dear Wanderers, to keep your badges to get a chance to be the top three Wanderers for quarter one. And we will be giving you a prize, right? Yes, it's almost time to end our adventure for today. That's sure. And today, <laughs> yeah, you have just discovered today about comparing and contrasting we have to remember that comparing and contrasting requires one to employ a sharp eye on looking for similarities and differences yes also in comparison or making a comparison one is looking at the tour guide realm, at the similarities and True. differences of two or more things that's for comparing in yes. contrasting or making a contrast, one is emphasizing the differences between things. Again, Another way of expressing signal, I mean, comparison yes. and contrast, future guide Jedi, is yes, to yes, make yes. use of signal words. So as you can see, dear wonders, we have signal words or phrases for comparison and for contrast. So you have learned or you have discovered those things. Yes. All right. And also graphic organizers and signal words 
can be utilized in expressing, compare, and contrast. In comparing and contrasting, it is a skill that helps you, helps us how to categorize, interpret, and decide. A special shout out to Tutor right? Ellie, Belisa Tutor yes. Ellie. Hello, Tutor Hi. Rem and Tutor Design. Much love and support. Congratulations Hi, and Tutor. happy birthday, Tutor Ellie. And now, Tutor, Tutor Guy Jedi. Yes, for our additional exercise, we'll be featuring your outputs for the WBO. The directions you're going to read 10. Read the 10 labors of Heracles from the mythology book or the summary of it, and then try to watch the animated movie of Disney Hercules. After that, compare and contrast both stories by using a table or any of the graphic organizers that you want. Remember, as long as it shows the similarities and differences of the two stories, it is okay. Right, Tutor Guide Rep? Yes, yes, yes. And lastly, please do this, dear wonders. We will be loving in, you know, checking your answers. This is just a short quiz, an exit quiz, yeah. where you can just... You know, practice what you have learned during these tutorials. So you may either scan the QR code or type the given link so that you can have the quiz. So thank you so much for that, dear wonders. Yes, yes, yes. And of course, thanks to these references that we have uh, posted. Thank you so much. And we would like to appreciate your feedback, dear wanderers. We have Thank here you so our much. feedback form for Italy. Thank you for answering uh, our feedback form. Kindly make sure both to give an honest feedback so that we can help you learn better. Yes, these right? are your English tutor guides with Mam May as the program head. We are your guides every Tuesday. Thank you for sharing the videos so many will be reached as we teach. Yes, indeed have had another wonderful learning adventure wanderers this has been your tutor guide jedi reminding you all to be judicious in your decisions and i am tutor guide ram teaching you virtually yet heartily let us say bye today to say hi next tuesday see you next tuesday god bless everyone again happy teacher's day to everyone all the teachers Ang husay naman, natapos mo ang iyong tutorial session kasama ang iyong mahusay na itulay tutor. May bago ka bang natutuhan? I-share na yan gamit ang hashtag itulay level up. Huwag aalis ha dahil may susunod pang programa na pwede mo ring panoorin at salihan. Dahil naghihintay na ang iyong mga tutors. Happy learning dito sa itulay!